Welcome to our channel, Fast Cabling. Are you ready to revolutionize your network setup and power your devices over long distance? Today, we'll be setting up a 24-port long-range PoE switch, and I'll guide you through the process step-by-step. Step. The 24-port long-range PoE Plus switch is a powerful network device that effectively extends your PoE range up to 800 meters, allowing your IP devices to be deployed flexibly anywhere. And this kit includes a switch and two PoE extenders, eliminating the need for an addition power supply for remote sites. So now we are in front of the demonstration board. I'm going to show you how to set up the 24-port long-range PoE switch step-by-step. Step. And when you receive your switch, make sure you verify the content of the switch packet. And you can also use the user manual for reference when you set up your switch. So now let's do the connection. First of all, you'll see a monitor and a network video recorder. Since we're connecting to a PDZ camera, that's why we need those to display the video footage. This is the router to provide the main network data. And first, I'm going to use a short patch cord here to connect the router to the NVR. And the NVR is already connected to the monitor. Next, I'm going to use another short patch cord to connect the router to our switch to provide data. Those two are the 1000 megabit per second Ethernet uplink port. Let's plug it in here. And beside it, we also have a SF SFP port for fiber optic connection if needed. Port 17 to 24 can support PoE transmission of up to 500 meters at 100 megabit per second when used a PoE extender. And for port 1 to 16 can extend PoE plus signal up to 250 meters. And now I'm going to use an Ethernet cable here to plug it into the long range port. And also, there are a lot of mounting options for the switch. You can rack mount, put it on a desktop, or wall mount it. And ensure the switch is placed in a well-ventilized area, and also use appropriate cable length. You can organize the cable using cable trays, racks to keep them neat and well-organized. And now I'm going to go over this side. Here we have 500 meters Ethernet cable in between. 100 100 and 300 meters and I'm going to join them together since I don't have a complete 500 roll So let's use a simple coupler to join all this Ethernet cable together So now we have total 500 meters Ethernet and at the edge, we have the PoE extender. And the reason why we need to add this extender, because our edge device is, all, is just an ordinary device. But we need to send back the signal to our switch in order to complete the long range setup. That's why we need to add a PoE extender. Now I'm going to plug it in to the extender. Make sure to plug it into the input port over here connect it and use an other short patch cord to connect our output port. Next, I'm going to use the short patch cord to connect with the PDZ camera. And as you can see, it's getting power already. Since it's a PoE enabled device, it can receive both power and data at the same time using only single Ethernet cable. And on the other hand, a non-PoE device relies solely on external power source. But no worry, you can also connect with a non-PoE device, but all you need to do is add a PoE splitter to utilize PoE transmission. You can also add various devices like the bully camera or router to the switch. And now I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the whole connection is done. We already achieved the 500 meters distance connection. So next I'm going to show you how to use the 24 port long range PoE switch to achieve up to 250 meters without using the PoE extender. But today we are going to connect with 200 meters in between. 
So first I'm going to unplug the Ethernet cable from port 18. And then we're going to plug it into just one of them. Let's plug it into port number four here. And make sure you turn this to the CCTV mode. And let's come over here to the middle. We are going to use 200 meters Ethernet cable. So I'm going to unplug the coupler and join those 100 meters together. So now we have 200 meters, which is already exceed the 100 meters distance limitation of PoE. And then I'm going to unplug the Ethernet cable from the extender. So now we don't need any external tool plug it into the PDZ camera directly using the Ethernet cable. And you can see it's also receiving power and data at the same time. Just wait for a little bit. And now you can see the video footage is on. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the whole connection is done without using a PoE extender to achieve 200 meters distance long range. When you set up a PoE connection, make sure you check the PoE device compatibility with the switch power output and the power budget calculation. There are different PoE standards, IEEE 802.3 AF, AT, and BT standard. For our 24-port long-range PoE switch here, has total power budget of 225 watts and support up to 30 watts of output power, which is compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.